Welcome everybody to Eye of the Serpent Tarot for another Pick a Card. So today I'm delighted to say that I'm doing a new collaboration with the wonderful Jenny from Falling Water Tarot. So Jenny's channel I came across not that long ago. Uh, she's relatively new to, to starting her channel up, but she has a particular lovely, unique way of doing her readings. Her energy is very, very soothing and very, very enlightening at the same time. And, and personally, I, I'm really drawn to it because as most of you would know, if you're used to my readings and come to my channel um, frequently, I have a fairly fast moving mind and, and, and personally, yeah, it tends to be a little bit overloaded a lot of the time. So it is really lovely to connect into an energy, but I just sort of feel like it takes me to a place where I just, I'm calm and open and, and she's, she's just such a lovely person, like meeting her is a delight and, and doing this is a delight. And what we thought about for this collaboration was she is particularly drawn to the Archangel Metatron, which makes a lot of sense to me because I think she's very connected. I think she's, she's a natural. Uh, and, and we talked about his twin, which is Sandalphon, and um, I was very interested in, in doing Sandalphon's messages if she did Metatron because Sandalphon is very connected to music, amongst other things. And we decided to have music as one of the most pure ways that the divine communicates with us as, as how we would kind of structure what the, the theme of these readings would be. As I sort of said to her that, you know, if I could be, my dream job beyond everything would be to be a lyricist. Um, so I love music, but um, that, so it really kind of connected for me. So this is sort of where this is coming from in terms of this reading. So what we want to do is bring to you in its two different forms, in a sense, the, the song of your soul from Metatron, which is what uh, Jenny over at Falling Water Tarot is doing, and then the music of your life, how it kind of plays out. And, and we were thinking about that in terms of in, in the Kabbalah, uh, Metatron is connected to Keta, which is the divine essence, the sort of highest point of the, the, the tree of life. And Sandalphon is connected to Malkuth, which is how this manifests on the earth. So that's a kind of different focus that we're bringing to this. And so Jenny's readings will tell you about that very pure, distilled song of your soul. And then this is going to be more around how it might play out, <laughs> no pun intended, in your life. So I very much, very much recommend if you haven't already to, to go to Jenny's readings as well. The, the connection to that, the, the link to that is in the description box below, because I think the essence of your soul is one of the most pure and beautiful things that you can know. And as I say, what I'm going to be exploring is how that is playing out at the moment in your life, the music of your life. So with that introduction, I'll just put down the number. So what I've done to help with the choice and with the structure of the reading, how I'm going to do it, is that I'm using three different decks that have archangel or sort of other sort of divine entity energy. And I've got, I've deliberately gotten sandal form from each of those. And then with these decks, there's there's another card from each of these decks in the corresponding piles. And what that is almost like the band. If you could think of like Sandalphon as either your lead singer of your band or the lead guitarist, whatever you think is most important in a band, or if you're into classical music, one of the lead instruments, you know, in a concerto or something like that, then we will be looking at what other divine energies connect with Sandalphon for the music of your life. And there's another deck that I'm using to kind of get a sense of the essence or the feel of that music, how that's playing for you. Then we'll use tarot to, to delve into that in more detail and, and then look at how it's playing out with some other oracle cards. Just want to say up front too, I'm using a new tarot deck uh, in this reading. It's from the same creator that did the Pastoral Dreams tarot that I use quite often on this channel. Uh, but I must say, in the Etsy listing, there isn't actually a name for this deck, so I'm just calling it the Sirius deck, um, Sirius tarot deck, because it's from the Sirius company, Sirius tarot company. So if you are interested in, in it and want to look into a copy for yourself, the, the link um, to the Etsy store is below in the description box. So I just want to say that at the beginning too, for those that are interested in the decks that I use. So choice here. So Pile number one has Archangel Sandal from, from the Angels Among Us deck and really kind of very modern <laughs> sort of looking Archangel Sandal Fawn. I kind of really like the sort of attitude, energy here. That may draw you. Uh, 
Pile number two is from the uh, female archangels oracle. So this is an archangel oracle that has the female equivalents to the quote unquote male. You know, this is divine masculine, divine feminine rather than gender sort of energy. So this is sandal from from that deck. And for pile number three, we have sandal from from the archangel fire oracle, who's happily sort of playing an instrument there, and it looks very, very sort of. Rock star to me, though I'm not sure that that instrument's rock star. But anyway, that's what I'm seeing in it. So the images may draw you. Um, it may be the, the number of the reading. You can, of course, go to more than one reading if you want. But when you know what reading or readings that, uh, is drawing you, the uh, timestamps are in the description box below, as always, and I'll see you there. Welcome, part one, to your reading. So as I said in the introduction, we've got the band here, or the, the, the main the main players in the orchestra, whatever type of musical allegory you would like for looking at the music of your life. So we have the Archangel Sandalphon, of course. And then we also have Archae Purity. So this is one of the female Arch uh, Archangel energies. She connects actually to the Archangel Zadkiel. And she's all about purity, cleansing and detoxifying and, and sort of like clearing out energy. And then we have Michael. Uh, and Michael, of course, is the strength of God and, and one of the sort of preeminent archangels and often often the archangel that is called upon when we need strength, when we're dealing with battles, you know, in the material world. That energy is being connected with some cards from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And I'm looking at these less about what the actual meaning of the cards is, you know, in terms of where it sits in sort of the major or minor arcana, but more the energy, what this is telling me. And the interesting thing for you is we have three water cards. And that makes a lot of sense with, with Archaea Purity here. I think that your music is very emotional, very emotionally resonant, very emotionally balanced, actually. The way that the eight of water here and, and the meanings of these cards are very different to normal tarot is portrayed, has all of the chakras aligned. So there's also a sense of health and balance associated with it, sort of grounding the the emotional energy and then the flow of the seven of water the opportunities all the sort of directions that one could go with and the celebratory energy of the three of cups so your music is very emotional but it's very beautiful you, you have a very i'd say very beautiful very open heart but you're not you're not all sunshine and puppies in as much as you came to the archangel version of sandalphon who's a bit tougher looking to be honest like he looks he looks sort of very modern very able to deal with himself you know very very sort of ready to be in the world you have as i say this sort of purifying energy which those that you know there needs to be this flow celebration grounding and flow and you're prepared to fight for it when it's necessary so I think that your music is is about bringing a heart centered space to the world, and I, and it will be very interesting to know how that connects to the the song of your soul. So definitely go and see um, with Jenny's reading how that connects. But there's something here of the emotional warrior, the spiritual warrior to some extent, but really the emotional warrior. You know, your your music is about breakthroughs on on issues to clear out energy for people to clear out your own energy. I think it would be very very good at at looking at your emotional energy, right down to the shadow levels, whatever it is, you have that strength of purpose, you know that you're divinely protected, all of that sort of thing. And you're very much in this world, but it's, you're almost, Paul one, you're almost uh, a contradiction in, in as much as the energy as I, I get from this Sandalphon version is, is a world that is a bit tough, that is a bit challenging, you know? And I mean, that is true of life. I mean, it's true of life in every generation and every part of history, but but I think there's a lot of challenges at the moment in the world about being able to keep an open heart um, and feel pure in, in what you're doing. You, your music is about that. You're here for that, I think. And, and as I say, incredibly emotionally resonant. If you were literally writing music or in a band, I think you'd be very popular. I think that you would be very emotionally connected. People would really come to you for a sense of, of emotional clarity. So there's something in that about you. Your, your music of your life is all about the heart, is all about the emotion, is all about flow. But you're strong. You are strong. And you don't, as I say, sugarcoat things. You look at things as they are. You clear it out. You move forward with strength. Nobody, if anybody thought that you were a bit of a, like a pussycat and a pushover, they would be dead wrong. <laughs> dead wrong. Like, I think this can happen with very open-hearted people. People can think, oh, you know, they're they're... I can sort of like push my way through this, but that's not the case. You're very, very strong. And if people tried to do that, they'd see that side of your personality. 
So you are here. Your music is a, is about emotion and about heart. So let's delve into it with the tarot. So what I want to look at is what is what are the kind of storyline, almost lyric lyrical energy of this music. What what is it in this life? You know, what what are you looking at and progressing on that sort of level? Your your sort of musical narrative then we're going to have a look at what might restrict that or what might be an issue to deal with and then we're going to have a little bit of a teaser ask of metatron what his his view is that you can then connect back to see the song the soul on jenny's channel so firstly let's get a little bit more of an idea about your your life's musical energy the sort of lyric lyrical book that would be with with that Five of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups reversed, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is very interesting. This is like this. This is not to say that there is a limit to your your musical palette, but there is a very strong focus, and it fits with what we're seeing here. It's all about emotion and grounding that emotion. Is we have pentacles and we have cups so five of cups reversed ten of cups reversed and knight of cups i feel like this is a journey that you are going through personally and that you would potentially help others with because you have a way of dealing with this there is a sense of and it's showing in this kind of energy that if you are disappointed you don't stay in that situation long you actually kind of confront the energy with the ten of cups reversed you let go of things so that you can open your heart again you're a very good example pile one of not becoming bitter when emotional things don't work out as a result you can you can toggle through the new beginnings materially in relationships in life in money and career and take it to a, a really stable point and then when you get there let that go and do something new so there this flow energy and the seven of cups this sort of sense that that you you get things to a particular point you get what you want out of it and then you can move on and do something else because you see you see the possibilities you're very open to the possibilities and and disappointments don't bother you some of you this has been quite hard one i have to say some of you i'm getting with the ten of cups reverse in particular there may have been some real struggles within your family for some i'm getting this is very specific you may even have either had a broken family or you may have felt that you had to go out on your own very early to establish yourself so there's there's something here where for some of you right back to the family basis there is an energy that was harsher than what your beautiful soul is and you really do have a beautiful soul but this in a way was good michael and sandalfon are here are saying this kind of toughened you up a bit i often think you know astrologically people go oh it's great to have lots of trines in their chart but if you have too many it's too easy and <clears throat> people think oh you know lots of squares or quincuxes oh that's problematic but some of those are the things that kind of really bring out our own sovereignty it, it toughens us up it's like you know the grit in the oyster creates the pearl that kind of thing i think that, that for many of you this is this is a musical musical story that you've developed from maybe dealing with great disappointment before but having this sort of sense that you remain with the open heart you know you can process it you have a pro you know how to do that and for some of you quite literally you may write or do something like that or paint or something or do music that actually processes that energy for you but it's it's so that you can both build and begin again and build and begin again so it has a very grounded energy this is why i think in this particular aid of water <clears throat> there's a sense of the chakras of keeping it very bodily on a spiritual level i think that you pick up things through empathy and through kinesthetic bodily things you your your soul responds to and reads the environment both by what you physically feel about it and what you can emotionally connect with others and you're highly empathic but as i say i think it's been through through going through something that maybe wasn't that easy for many of you or you know could even have been in a past life you've brought through a very strong imprint here and very strong sort of energy around doing it so the other thing um that i would say is the archangel Ma michael kind of connects to in the kabbalah tippereth which is about beauty and I, so i think there is something it's, it's again it's sort of saying the beauty and all these blue tones i think that blue as a color and a frequency for you is very powerful it also suggests the throat chakra so how you communicate your communication i think is very beautiful some of you may have very beautiful speaking voices or singing voices but beyond that i think you're very articulate okay so 
what might be blocking this? I mean, this is a beautiful energy, but as I say, it's maybe come through some challenges. So what could be blocking the, the music of your life at the moment that, that Sandalphon wants you to sort of be aware of and know that, that your band here is going to help you with? Six of Pentacles. Ooh, the blank card. So that's where it looks the same either way. I'll just put it right way up because it doesn't matter whether it's upright or not. Justice reversed. Yeah, some of you have been dealing with things that are not fair. The chariot reversed. Okay. So this could be happening right now or it could be something that, that you are still processing. The beauty is this is saying the block, there's actually an answer to the block coming if it's right now. And otherwise, you know, if, even if it's in the past, there's sort of something much bigger and better coming with the, the blank card there, but I'll get to that. This is saying something was not fair. Something has blocked some of your process in whatever you're doing. And it might be why I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles and then the Ace of Pentacles. I think for some of you, this may have been happening primarily in the material world. You may almost have to go back to the beginning. The beauty about your overall song is because you can clear the emotional energy out of it, you can then move it back. I feel like this toggles between. But I think that for some of you, something like it could be around career, it could be around your vocation, it could be around material, financial issues, something... Something is taking your attention away and, and blocking some of your progress at the moment or has, and you're, you're working through that. Now, later in the reading, we are going to look at how this is operating around things like career. So it'll be interesting to see what we see around that. There is something coming to help with this. And, and why I'm saying it's to help with this is that, that ultimately it may be around finding either a benefactor or finding somebody who will sort of support what you're doing. And I'm, I'm feeling a very strong connection between the wings that we're seeing here and, and the Archangel Michael. The blank card is where something is coming out of the unmanifest and it's not seen yet. You don't know what it is. And Tarot will not tell you. <laughs> so I can't sort of ask Tarot what that is. But what it tells me is that something is coming that I think will unblock this because I, I feel because it's next to the justice and we feel like that's sort of like limiting your, your growth. But there is a sense here of finding the right connection, whatever this is, if you are right now dealing with this, and even if it was an injustice from a long time ago, there's there's something coming through that, that brings the right support for you, but you've got to wait for that. So the block is more about timing than anything else. So I think what Sandalphon would like you to do and the other members of the band is, is think about the purity aspect, think about clearing your energy so that you're ready for this because it's a better thing coming through. Okay, so let's also just get three cards from Metatron. So Sandalphon is, is sort of saying there's a beautiful energy that you have that you can express. And if you have had blocks or if you've had to kind of almost go back to first principles, something's coming through for you to write that. But you need to use your skills to prepare yourself for it. So what what does Metatron want to say? So all we're, all we're asking for here is a bit of a hint about what Jenny's reading might be talking about how, how the longer term song of your soul, which is a much more pure long term you over many lifetimes sort of energy, is, is connecting to this current music, this, this score, if you will, of your current life, your current movie, if you will, to try and maybe stretch the metaphor a bit too far. So, Ten of Wands reversed, Two of Wands reversed, Three of Wands reversed. Okay, this is the creative aspect. So your, your main things that you default to musically, as I say, is the material and the emotional. I think that there is also something very creative in you and it's something in what's coming through, I think, and what Metatron would talk to you about in, in your song of your soul is the creative aspect. It's the action aspect. So with Ten of Wands reverse, it's like remove the burdens from you and remove the doubt. There are connections coming that are good, but it may well be that, that finding that creative spark, and this could be in any aspect of your life, it could be in love, it could be in career, whatever, we'll see what we get further down the track. But there is something where, it's almost as though what Metatron is saying is that this is very beautiful, and Sandalphon would agree, you know, your, your way of being able to clear things emotionally and stay open-hearted, your, your capacity to move through the different cycles of the material world are beautiful, but what you may have suppressed a bit, and it's maybe because of what went wrong, is your passion. So the fact that this is all reversed, I think that this is like a reconnection to your passion. So I think that if you go and see Jenny's reading, you're going to get a sense about what is the passion of your soul. You know, the song of your soul is your passion. And that kind of might help bring this energy through. So it almost feels to me like you have this beautiful energy, you clear things out, you're strong as can be, but it's maybe a bit tiring. 
It's maybe been a bit tiring, whatever this is, but there is the capacity to reconnect with that. And I think what that's what Jenny's reading will really help you to see. So let's have a look at how it's playing out in different areas. So I want to have a look at around sort of your, your work, your career, your vocation, that kind of thing. I want to look at how the music is playing around love for you at the moment, spiritually, and that we'll also get some astrology. So firstly, in terms of work and career, I have a particular deck that is a very spiritually oriented deck for this. So that's what we want when we're, when we're dealing with the Archangel realm. So I just want a couple of cards. I'm asking Sandalphon here for a couple of cards to show the energy around career, vocation, material outcomes for you right now and any advice that he would have. So we get umbrella all under one roof. Okay, and abundance, fruits of your labor. So yeah, there is something good coming through. And this is the ace to the 10 as well of the pen, 10 of pentacles. So I think there's a promise. He's saying there is going to be some fulfillment. If you have had blocks materially in some way, you're coming to a point of abundance. That is coming through. But there's almost like a process, and this might be the purification and the getting back into flow about getting everything as much as possible consolidated. So all under one roof suggests consolidated, work in-house, you know, like how do you bring all your different talents together? And I think there may be a clue in what the tarot has told us here, that you are you are very good at the structure of things. So this will work well for you with, with the, the pentacle cards. And like thinking about that also makes sense. The ace to the 10, getting everything all under one roof. It's like, how do you bring all your multiple talents together to get the best outcome for yourself? And then in doing that with the emotional energy, you can clear out that which is no longer working for you, but you do need to connect to your passion because the passion is the thing that's probably going to light the fire of the fruits of your labor and bring in the harvest. Certainly, though, this is a suggesting that something is coming and being ready for that so that, that you have everything in your career. So if you're in a job and you're doing a lot of things, it's maybe consolidated as much as possible. If you're looking at different you know, side hustle and a job, how do you consolidate your energy? It doesn't have to bring them together literally, but how do you see it as the umbrella of your skills so that you can clear out any energy that isn't working, reconnect with your passion and then bring in abundance? So that's a very positive energy. Let's see around love, because it does look as though there could have been some emotional things. But as I say, for some of you, it could be very, you know, old time. It could have been family or something like that. But let's just see the energy around love for you at the moment in terms of the music of your life. Support. And. Spy reversed. Okay. All right. So this is, I do think some of you, some of you, there's something about your family or, or sort of like past relationships or something like that. This is saying whatever that energy is, it's leaving, but there, it feels like there was an almost oppressive energy or an energy that was too controlling in some way. And because with spy upright, it would be suggesting someone kind of keeping tabs on you, all that kind of thing. This, this energy is leaving. So that is good. There are better connections coming through, which is good. It feels to me like for most, this is more about kind of friendships, that kind of thing, rather than, than romantic love. But, you know, it depends on where you're up to in your life. But I think the support helps you, you know, keep your heart open. And you're, and I think in the end, you're going to help other people deal with this because it's cleansing energy. Because like a spy energy upright would not be a particularly, it would not be a clean energy in a way emotionally. So I think if you have had a difficulty in separating from someone, then this is showing you can detach and you will find the support you need. So but I think I think that there's something about family for some of you. But it is the good news is that you're moving away from that energy and moving towards things that are more healthy for you or helpful for you. So let's also ask spiritually, what is the energy of the music of your life spiritually? Part one. Follow your vision. Never lose sight of what is really important. Yeah. And I don't think generally you would, but I think there's something about your passion that needs to be reignited. And tear down the walls around your heart. Okay, so there's been something. You you naturally are open-hearted, but there's something, as I say, family, an ex, something like that. 
to get back into the your natural musical rhythm, you need to sort of do that. But you need, and you know, when you do that, you can know that you'll have the support that you need. So give and receive security and warmth. This is, and I think you will help people. I think this is part of what you do. How you can do this is something that other people follow. Okay, so we'll also get just one card from the Black Moon Astrology deck for sort of the astrology energy, you know, where this might be most focusing at the moment in the music of your life. Second house, owning. All right, so there's a very material side to a lot of this. If it's around a relationship energy, then clearing out all of that sort of stuff, getting back to first principles, can bring in a relationship that is connected to your values and who you truly are. If this is around career, yeah, second house, what is what is the value? So this may be the way that you can reconnect with your passion. What do you really care about? Uh, and, and more generally, there's something here about bringing in abundance, bringing in the life that you want. So I think you're on the, the precipice of that really a breakthrough in that. And I think that's what that blank card is. So it's like preparing yourself for that. I think that's what Sandalform is saying at the moment to you. Okay, to finish up, I want to firstly look at what some special spiritual gifts that you have that might help you, you know, really bring this musical score of your life to life. And then we're going to also have a little bit of fun at the end with the music oracles to see a music icon and their advice to you around the music of your life. So I'm just going to get three cards that could show how to express your spiritual energy from, from the music of your life. Spiritual teacher, priest or priestess. That doesn't surprise me. I do think this, because of the purity of your heart and the way that you ground this energy, I do think you're going to help other people. If you're not already doing it, I think you're going to. And it may also say the support, the fact that it naturally fell with support is that you may find a spiritual teacher as well that will help you with this. But I think it's in preparation for you being that. Your energy is too pure, I think, to, to not be a teacher, to be honest. Whether you, I mean, you don't have to be a teacher in terms of your vocation necessarily, but in terms of you know, being a light for others. We have Indigo Child, Amiga Generation, born between 1998 and 2008. Some of you may be in that group. There's quite a few cards in this deck that are Indigo Children. To me, this just simply says that you have a multitude of spiritual gifts because that's the Indigo Children came in with that. So I think it's just a confirmation of that. doesn't surprise me again with, you know, getting Michael, for instance, along with Sandalphon and this sort of sense of the, the emotional purity and the, the capacity to manifest. And... Soul number, numerical symbol for what your heart desires. So it's getting back to the heart desires. Numerology might be important for you. Angel numbers might be important for you. Any of those sort of systems might get you to, the again, the purity of things. Makes sense, again, too, because it feels very musical. This whole thing is musical, but, like, when you have all that water, to me, water is the most musical element in many ways. So there's, there's sort of, like, the sacred, the music, you know, celestial music, that kind of thing. So that will maybe give you a, something about connecting back to your passion, and, and freeing out the energy so that you can let this sort of abundance come in. So, as I say, just to finish off, I thought I'd have a bit of fun with the music oracles. Now, this deck can be profound. It can also just be fun. And it, it could be that the icon that comes is something that really resonates for you. Otherwise, it could be just the, the advice. And as I say, if it's just humorous, just take the humor. Just take whatever advice works for you and in whatever way it works for you. It just seemed like a nice, lighthearted way to finish. So, for you, Sandalphon is drawing on the energy of Miriam Makiba. Now, I'm not that familiar with her work, so some of you may be. She looks very soulful, though, so that kind of makes sense for you, sort of soul music, that kind of thing. She says, if the times are broken, it is our job to mend them. Yeah, there is something here where you are about healing, healing, clearing the energy out and rebuilding. That's definitely part of who you are, part of your music of your life. She says, your joy makes fools of your oppressors. Yeah, if anything went wrong, don't worry about it. Move forward with the open heart. They can't touch you. And lastly, she says, in an age of lies, the truth is dynamite. Yeah, and you, if you are purifying things and you have the courage of Michael as well as the, the communication eloquence of Sandalphon, some of you may be truth tellers. And that may be the thing that becomes the light on the hill for others. Whatever it is, you have a genuinely very beautiful energy. I think that you've suffered a bit for it but I think things are going to get better. All that I think Sandalphon really wants you to do is, is go with your natural flow of letting the emotions out so your heart stays open and reconnecting with your passion. And I do think that going and seeing Jenny's reading to see the song of your soul could be a really 
important key to connect back to that passion. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If so, please like the video and subscribe. If you care to share in the comments, I'd love to hear. Otherwise, I hope to see you in future readings. Welcome, Pile 2, to your reading. So as I said in the introduction, here with Sandalfon, we, as the, the lead singer or the lead guitarist, whatever you want to think in terms of the music of your life, the rest of the band that Sandalfon has for the music of your life is the angel or archangel Shamael, which is about the heart, and the archangel Christiel, which is about high consciousness, you know, Christ light, white light, whatever, you know, that kind of, that kind of level of consciousness uh, that, that we speak about in broad terms across many religions. And it's interesting, when I also have the dreams of Gaia Tarot here to give me a bit of a sense about the nature of the music, you know, what music are they playing? What is the music of your life? And, and I first put these down in a slightly different order and then it occurred to me that, that there is one card here for each of the members of the band. So I've actually aligned it because this tells me a lot about who you are. So the music of your life, there is firstly emotional authenticity. You're very emotionally developed. You're very emotionally honest and in very much coming from the heart. So it's a very beautiful energy. And you're wise. There is a connection to the divine, to the, the higher orders. The sage here is a bit like the hermit. You know, there are different sorts of major arcana cards in the Dreams of Gaia tarot, but this is the connection, I think, to the divine. So the heart center is there. And the interesting thing too is that, that this energy, higher consciousness, you know, Christ light, that kind of energy connects quite a bit with Tipareth in the Kabbalah. So that is about the heart as much as and what is beautiful so there is a very strong connection through the heart to higher knowledge so you have a very strong spiritual connection and and a, and a true it's a very pure spiritual connection and it's grounded with archangel sandalphon this particular deck when talking about it talks about sandalphon's capacity as the archangel that looks after or watches over malkuth which is the earth which is the grounding grounding that energy with the seven of earth here so this sort of sense of being very much in alignment so this looks to me like there's something in in your music which i think would connect with with the reading in in jenny's and, and falling water tarot so go and see what the song of your soul is but i feel as though there is something that you are bringing in a message you are here to bring in a message of the heart of that kind of beautiful consciousness level like what would be beautiful that could then be manifest and grounded in the world and so that could play out in any number of ways i mean it could be in your career it could be in the relationships that you have it could be in spiritual path that you do but you're not new to this you have a lot of wisdom but it's very much it's not this is almost like hokma and binar actually so hokma is sort of like the the second sephiroth of the the tree of life and it is it is about kind of undifferentiated wisdom that's sort of like what is what are the facts though this is nicely balanced by christiel which also brings in that kind of higher consciousness with it that, that connects to the sort of heart as well and then you have binar who has the intellect and the the energy and the maturity but also the compassion but it's all about grounding something so i think there's something in your your, the music of your life, and as I say, I could play out in any number of ways, where there is a, a sort of a message you've, you've come here to bring, a message that you want to ground, and it's like as above, so below, in its most pu pure way. It's like how you bring the heart and you ground that and make it part of the world. So that's very lovely. So, But this, I feel like there's a kind of a... It'll be interesting to see what we get with tarot, but I feel like there's a kind of a... There's a cause here or something, so maybe leading people towards this in some way but anyway we'll see so let's use the tarot so first thing i'm going to ask a little bit more about sort of the lyrics and the melody of the music of your life what what is going on at the moment then i'm going to ask what might be blocking some of the music of your life and then we're going to just have a little teaser discussion with metatron so you then go and sort of get the the full story over in jenny's uh jenny's readings so firstly just a little bit more about how this sort of heart based consciousness and knowledge is grounded that's that's that, that's really you're here to take a heart-based consciousness and a, a level of knowledge like spiritual knowledge and ground it in some way what what how is that playing out at the moment for you king of wands reversed the devil okay yeah you've got a cause all right <laughs> the empress oh there's the the binar energy a very very strong connection to the divine feminine Ten of Wands reversed. Temperance reversed. Okay, yeah. All right. So there is a leadership thing here, but I've got to say, 
because I was feeling leadership, but it was sort of like it hasn't, it wasn't like distinct leadership cards came up, but I sort of felt something like that. It's a little bit, a little bit muted at the moment. So this is something I think that Sandalphon wants to talk to you about. There, and it may be because you are drawing in towards you at the moment some very egotistical people, some very power-oriented people. So there may be a bit of a struggle here. You have the wisdom to cut through this and to ground the energy, but I think that many of you may be around a non-heart-centered environment, whether it's at work or whether it's around relationships, whatever it is. For many of you, this could play out sort of in like work and a corporate environment or something like that. There's some energy at the moment. That's why I say I think you have a cause. There's there's a, a liberation call, cause almost that you your the music of your soul is about the music of your your life is about, and it's very connected to to nurturing to the heart to the divine feminine. Many of you may be in a very patriarchal environment, whether it's family, you know, social groups, work, whatever it might be. There's 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 bringing this call back. This is a kind of a real sense of. Like there are, there are, and it's the interesting thing about this, if you actually look at the way this is depicted, is you've got three divine masculine energies and three divine feminine. But I think there's a very strong emphasis here on the divine feminine and on nurturing and creativity, maybe in a bit of a harsh or competitive environment. But Sandalphon is saying you are on the precipice of letting go of the burden. You've taken on almost the role of trying to balance and ground things. And I think that Sandalphon is saying that there may be a different creative path for you. It may be, and so that could be leaving a workplace, you know, when you have something else to go to, it may be walking away from relationships that are too construct, constrictive and, and too egotistical and too narcissistic or whatever it is and getting to the pure thing of your heart. But there's a sort of sense right now where you know things are not in balance, you know kind of what's causing it and you know your inner strength and it's, it's how you relieve that burden. That's where you are right at the moment. So it'll be very interesting to see what are the things that are blocking the music of your life now because I think this, this will pick up a little bit more about this environment or this issue that you're dealing with at the moment. Nine of Cups reversed. The Lovers reversed. Oh, a lot of you, this could be around a love relationship. It's around relationship in, in general, actually. I mean, if it's not if it's not love, it could be in a workplace or whatever, but relationship is a big part of it. The sun, the tower reversed. Okay, all right. Most of you, I feel at the moment, you, you have this very strong balance, you know, this very, very wise, heart-centered energy to your music, but you are being blocked at the moment in pursuing your life path by something that's constricting you. You can deal with it bit by bit, but that's kind of, it's slower. It's almost like you would like to kind of just upend everything, but you kind of know you can't. That would be too disruptive. So, you know, if it is in a workplace, you might know it right now you can't leave the workplace or or if you do, you know, you're not sure what you would do next. There's some sort of block around your life path at the moment. And it's got to do with joy. And that's sort of the interesting thing with Chamayol and with Christiel here. It's It's like, you, there's something about this environment that's blocking your joy and blocking the relationships that you want. And therefore, that's your life path and your music is supposed to be about the heart and that wisdom of the heart and grounding that energy. But there's something about the environment you're in at the moment. And it's like you feel like you can only go step by step because to be too too sort of upfront about it could be could bring the tower the, you know, the right way up and then you've kind of got everything sort of falling apart. So you are feeling... You have to block some of this energy, some of this sun energy, some of this beauty energy. But it's got to do with relationship. And I think that Sandalphon is saying you need to reconnect back with your heart. This is a harsh environment you've been in or a harsh relationship. Get back to the inner empress. Get back to that energy because that's what you're here for. So it, it's, it's almost like you've forgotten about what the relationships would be that you wanted. You've forgotten about what joy would be. And as such, you're blocking your life path because of this environment. So it's not, he's not having a go at you, he's not saying you're doing anything wrong. He's just saying that you need to be aware of of the impact of this. And and that I think the answer is getting back to your sort of divine feminine to that, to, to, to reconnecting to that. So let's see what Metatron would say about the song of your soul, how that kind of connects the purest level of who you are, how that's connecting to this, you know, and this is a bit of a teaser so that you can go and get the real full deal from, from Jenny at Falling Water Tarot to, to learn a bit more of that really core song of your soul so metatron would say queen of wands seven of cups eight of wands okay all right so 
Metatron would say, you shine. You shine. You're a queen. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, I'm not talking about gender. You're very, you, you are meant to be self-actualized. You've come in with this sort of wisdom, as I say, and with the true heart center. But you've almost disconnected from the, the options that you have. I just think you feel stuck. And Metatron is saying the song of your soul is the, the kind of inspiration for you to break free from that and get back to who you are. There's something about the Empress. But as I say, you, it's all there. Metatron is saying, you know, you sort of like you shine, people would follow you. And, and you are almost, almost a way of showing the, the diverse ways that one could love or care or get connected to the heart. And that there's a great speed that you can move forward towards liberation from this situation. But you've got to remember that about yourself. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to look at how this could be playing out in various aspects of your life. So we're going to look at sort of career, work, vocation. We're going to look at love. We're going to look at spirituality. And then we'll also look at astrology. So firstly, around career, I have a deck that is spiritually oriented for career. So I felt that would be the best way for Sandalfon to, to bring messages. So this is, if some of this is around an oppressive workplace or business situation or whatever, it may show the way out or other challenges that you need to deal with if... Um, if it's not in the career or whatever, it may show what sort of balancing that sort of energy for you while you're dealing with maybe something on a more personal level. So what we get is hidden, buried treasure awaits, dig deeper, show yourself new information, discover your path. Okay. And construct tower of power. Okay. All right. For many of you, this could be in career. And as I said, it, it could well be a toxic work environment or a very patriarchal work environment or something like that. So Sandalphon is saying you, you may have hidden your light to some degree. You may have forgotten what you really love. But in your career, you have many skills and many talents. You have all this wisdom. So it may be bringing that to the surface. And it might be in, in going for a job somewhere else or something like that. So... But this is saying that, that there's something that's suppressing some of that, but you can bring it up. You can construct your own tower of power. So this is saying you could do extremely well. Um, so this is this is about being able to deal with that world, but deal with it in power. So this this may be the clue that that the sun here is blocking this the the, the lack of emotional connection to what you're doing. The nature of this environment is blocking your capacity to construct the career you want. But it's all there. Sandalphon says, remember, you have all of all that you need. You can construct something for yourself. And if you're dealing with, with sort of nasty people in the workplace or whatever, you, you actually do have the strength. You have the wisdom and the strength to get past that. So that's very promising. So let's have a look around love, the energy around love for you at the moment in the music of your life, Paul too. Fun. Okay, good. Having a bit of fun would be good. You've kind of disconnected from joy a bit. So this could be Sandalphon saying, you know, like do do fun things, be around people that, you know, whether it's lovers or friends, you know, like or you know, family, whatever it is, have a bit of fun. And daydream reversed. You're yeah, you're out of touch with your own your own dream. And you've come in with a very beautiful, wise dream around love. Fun is the way to get to it because you've, you've blocked that out. Something about this environment or this relationship or whatever it is has blocked it out. So, so you need to turn that around. Remember, you know, your passion and your, your sort of emotional richness because you have a lot of emotional rich, richness, pile too. Okay, let's see what your soul you know, or your spirit would say, the spiritual side of this for you. Have courage. Awaken the warrior of light within you. Yeah, there's something that you need courage, but like you, you have the wisdom in the heart. It's all you really need. And you can ground things. There's something about this environmental relationship that's overheated, it's narcissistic, it's corrupt, whatever it might be. Those things cannot withstand the courage of someone with a true open heart and, and that kind of spiritual wisdom. So know that you can do this, I think. And... Live in, live in this world as a dreamer. Create a future paradise daydream. Yeah, you've, you've disconnected from that. And you've come in with this amazing sort of wisdom. So right now, whatever's going on, you can, you can defeat it. And you defeat it by getting back in touch with what you would want to create and then using the inner power that you have to create it. So, okay, let's get one card from the Black Moon Astrology deck to just see maybe something about the aspect of life where this is most playing out at the moment astrologically. South node, life's debts. Okay, there's something to move away from. South node is, is what we are moving away from in life. 
and it's karma and so forth. So the interesting thing about this poll too is the energy you've brought in is not someone who looks like they've karmically needed to deal with this. I feel like you've come across other people who are who are accumulating some pretty big karmic debts. You are meant to move away from them. But I think in, in doing so and in what you build, you may actually have a flow-on effect that brings a bit of wisdom to them. So it's, it's this sort of weird sort of situation where they may not feel like they're particularly deserving, but it's something in what you do and construct and how you're moving through this energy may actually help them a bit as well too. It's I think like Santa Fon is saying, it doesn't really matter ultimately for you because you're meant to move away from this this energy and move back towards what is beautiful within you and, and you know the sun, your life path. But there is something going on with that where I think karmic, so it, it may even be that you decided you, you made an agreement to come in and be in these sort of environments to try and clear that energy and bring some wisdom and heart to it. You know, so some of you that might resonate for. So given that, let's have a look at what spiritual gifts at the moment would particularly help you in, in orchestrating the music of your life. Clear gustance, clear tasting. Okay, this might be because Sandal Fon, you know, the grounding, the sort of very material level. You you, you pay attention. You probably have this clear sense. You probably you know, might get a taste in your mouth or something when you when you first bite into it. You just know it's not right for you, that kind of thing. Pay attention to that uh, because you, you get very bodily sort of transmitted energy, you know, and you have with the sage the wisdom to know what that is. It's also, you know, if, if there's something about a relationship or or a workplace or something that's leaving a bad taste in your mouth, that pretty much tells you where this issue is. We have Ascension Path 5, Light Ether, Mental Tunes to Spirit. So they're getting back to your spiritual side of things, you know, your light energy and getting to the hidden depths that you have and remembering, remembering who you are, I think. And... Spiritual herbalist, spiritual healer, healing ritual. So you, you could do something that is healing for yourself or for others. Spiritual herbalism may help you if you're dealing, you want to detoxify from a bad environment. It may also be, again, because of this grounding energy, that this is a this is a area that you actually, part of the music of your life is to be, you know, in that kind of realm of spiritual herbalism of health and that kind of thing. Okay, so to close out, I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with the music oracles that seem like an ideal deck to use for this set of readings. So we're looking for what music icon Sandal Fon would think would give a nice closing message. This deck can just be funny sometimes. So if, if it's that, you know, take it, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But it can also have profound messages. So take what resonates for you. And if, you know, if the icon means a lot to you, it might be a confirmation of something. Otherwise, as I say, it could just be a bit of fun. So what icon and their message would Sandal Fon want to close out this message, this reading for you, Paul 2? Marvin Gaye. Wow. Okay. Very soulful, very much of the heart, very much a message that was socially important. And, and you know, one that, that and I think kind of helped others, helped heal others in many ways. You know, it was certainly help people get back to their soul and to their heart. So that's interesting. His advice is don't fool around with something you cherish. So, yeah, what is, what is important to your heart? What is your life path? Even if you have come in, Paul, too, with a kind of a cause and you know that you're going to be in difficult environments, you need to protect your passion and who you are and what matters to you. He says, there is madness in love, but also reason in madness. So, yeah, what's the balance? And what a beautiful way of articulating these two energies within your band. One is the heart and love, and one is around higher consciousness, and the sage was connected reason. So it's a beautiful balance for you. And lastly, a selfless heart is all you need to get by. Yeah, do not... Feel that you're going to get drawn into and become the, the less positive aspects. Focus on your heart because you have the wisdom to sustain this. So you are here with the cause and I think you will lead in some way or or at least clear the karmic debt. Or not, maybe, maybe you can't ultimately clear the karmic debt for others, but you can show the way to clearing karmic debt for others. But the important thing is to stay connected to your, your creativity and your heart and what you've come in with, because I think you've kind of chosen and, and gravitate towards difficult or conflict-based situations. But if anybody can deal with it, Paul 2, it's you. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I do hope that you go to Jenny from Falling Water Tarot's uh, Song of the Soul, because the soul, your soul would be really interesting given this, this energy. So I hope you go and see that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
you care to share in the comments, I'd love to hear. Otherwise, I hope to see you in future readings. Welcome, Pile 3, to your reading. So I'm going to say right from the outset, you guys are interesting <laughs> uh, because in, in sort of like shuffling and getting sort of intuitively, the other members of the band supposedly for the music of your life were Sandalphon. Uh, I didn't know what cards were going to come. And from the uh, the female Archangel deck, I actually didn't get another another band member. I actually think you are kind of connected with these as a kind of a band member. So I don't know. I, maybe that for some of you, the concept of being an Earth Angel applies. I, I don't know a lot about that concept, but that's a possibility. But... But there's something very uniquely you, I think, <laughs> what this is saying. And and your music is connected to your ascension path, to your spiritual path. So so you and your music, you and your uh, spiritual path are inextricably connected. And there's a very strong heart energy for you with Archangel Shamiel coming up here. Um, so the, the, your heart and your ascension are very connected. And this version of Sandalphon, I feel like... As I said in, in the introduction, I feel like it like, looks like a rock star. Like it, it just feels like the most fiery of the energies. And so it's very interesting what cards came out from the Dreams of Guy because this is meant to be partly what the, the cards mean, but they mean different things in the Dreams of Guy to, to normal tarot. But it's more the kind of like the balance of your music. And so we have, we have an air thing here. We have the, the two of air and we have that sort of sense of choice and decision. And I think this is about you awakening within yourself, the choices that you make on a kind of spiritual level. That's part of the music of, of your soul. You, you don't actually rush into anything that has a spiritual purpose without really considering it. Yeah, and you, you have a very good sense of the light and dark, the shadow and the, and the light. Like there's there's a very well calibrated almost philosophy behind the way that you follow your spiritual path. We have Shamel with here the ten of, of water. So the, the the beautifully encapsulated love energy and the sense of sort of finding, you know, like long term happy love energy is part of your music of this life. I think that you will, if you don't already have it, you will be in a very happy relationship. Um, happy family connections, if not now, in the future, that there's something like that. And maybe a lot of what you bring to the world is about bringing that sort of sense of emotional fulfillment. So there's something in that energy. And then we have the seven of five, which is the courageous energy and the fire energy, I feel, with Sandalphon here. So this, this sort of sense of the creative. Now, what is interesting, and one of the things that instantly shows up here, so it will be interesting to see what we get with the tarot, is Sandalphon is, is, as I said in the introduction, connected to Malkuth, so grounded energy, the, the world. And it's kind of good that that's the case because the one thing that's sort of missing in this is the manifestation, the grounding energy. Now, it may just be that, that in a sense, for most of the people that come to this, what is happening materially is of less importance to you, to your spiritual growth and to your heart and to the, the fact that you're following your passion and you're having the courage to follow your passion. So you may be a group of people who are not that interested in material outcomes. But nevertheless, Sandalphon's messages are also going to be about how this manifests in the world and how you manifest this lovely energy. So so there could be a little bit of a thing here, and we'll see what we get with the tarot, which is about your your passions and your heart and your, your intellect kind of almost detach you a little bit from the world. But what could you do with this beautiful energy if you brought it into the world? So so I think that might be interesting to see. But we'll, we don't want to second guess it too much. It's just It just struck me that, that you seem to be a very passionate, philosophical and heart-centered person, but there's, there, there's not a great deal of energy there that's pointing towards the sort of grounding of it all. That's not meant as a criticism. You know, it could be that you're very, this could be your last incarnation. And so it's it's much more about what you can share with others. Who knows? I mean, but we'll see what we get. So we're going to use the tarot and we're going to ask firstly a little bit more about the lyrics and the melody of your, the music of your life. Like what's playing out right now? We're going to then look at what blocks there could be around the music of your life. And then we're going to get a little bit of a teaser from Metatron um, as a sort of a, his sort of view on this that you can then go and get much more detail on if you haven't already with um, Metatron's messages from Jenny over at Falling Water Tarot. So firstly, a little bit more about what's playing out now for you in the music of your life. Seven of Wands reversed. Oh, no, that's interesting because you have the Seven of Fire there. Six of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. Page of Wands, 
Eight of Cups. All right, again, we're not seeing, we're not seeing Pentacles. It's very interesting. So, firstly, your, your overall song is this courage and this sort of passion to move forward, but there's a little bit you're doubting something at the moment. You're doubting your direction. This is probably why we've got the two of of air so it's that choice you know and it's it's early in the thing what what is the information for the choice you will you you come from here this is your core the ascension path the philosophy you know logic sacred mathematics all that sort of stuff is very core to you the, so you know like music and, and the music of the spheres would be very core to you as an almost pure form so you're trying to to liberate your mind so that you can determine the best next step and you know creativity is got has got something to do with this but there's something there almost maybe is something that, that didn't work out or you your heart was hurt in some way that you need to clear that energy and and get back into connection with this sort of sense and belief that that, that the beautiful sort of love energy can come through there's something this looks to me like something has just recently happened that that made you question your direction and and you are really focusing on what what can you understand about that how does this connect to your spiritual path so this may be why we're seeing this energy right now i do think that you are as i say less about the material and more about the spiritual and the heart but i think it, it may also be a bit of a point in time that something something has kind of like knocked your navigation your inner inner navigation and you're trying to like work out how to have the courage to to bring that sort of creative energy through and to clear whatever the emotional energy was. So as I say, it might be the lack of pentacles might be just because that's where your focus is at the moment. So let's see what's blocking you. Because there's something here that you've got to liberate yourself from. And it is suggesting that you're going to do that. Um, you're going to do it by getting back in touch with your sort of passion and letting go of anything emotional. But you're just it just looks like you feel a little bit off course. It's like it's almost like something's happened that was a surprise. <clears throat> That didn't fit with what you thought or believed, and you're kind of recalibrating that. So let's see what the what the blocks might be to the music of your life. Five of Cups, Temperance, Knight of Swords reversed, King of Cups. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go to Temperance first. So there's something here i don't know exactly what it is and it'll be interesting particularly when we get to this where we're looking at things like your career where the pentacle sort of stuff comes in this this constant lack of pentacles and we may get some from metatron we'll see but i feel like there is something a little bit out of balance it's like you're almost too detached it's almost like you 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 either are or you would aspire to be you know a a Buddhist monk living in a mountain, sort of meditating and communing with, with the divine, like a mystic. Like, I think you're a mystic, actually. I think this is what it's showing. And that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but in terms of, like, the messages from Sound of about what's in the world, you're here for a reason. So it's how do you then do that? How do you manage that? And it could be. I mean, like, the theory, you know, with people like Buddhist monks and all that sort of thing is that what they do in separating out and their consciousness raises the consciousness more generally. So it's not as though there isn't something that you could be doing. But I I just feel like maybe Sandalfon is sort of saying that you need to think about that. You need to think about what you are getting materially, I think. That that's the bit that will actually liberate your ascension path and, and give you the information. It's the information you're not seeing. You've almost got a blind spot. And and it may be some people with spirituality think that everything that is of the material world is lesser. You know, I've I've certainly had people comment on my you know channel sometimes about that, and everybody has their beliefs and their views. You may fall into that category. I personally believe we're here for a reason. So you know, and in the most evolved souls that maybe don't really need a lot of material sort of comforts are still here for a reason so i think this is what sandalfon's saying you're going to get the answer to recalibrate your direction when you kind of really think about what should you have materially and it's not a lesser thing to ask for that it's not a lesser thing to want to have a comfortable life in one way or another you've been disappointed in some way this is there's a disappointment that's that's triggered this and and you've become very careful about what you believe and do as a result but it's like reconnect back to your to your sort of like inner knowing emotionally. There's sort of like the heart center. That's the way to get there. And you can heal yourself and heal others as a result of that. To go from the five of cups to get to the king of cups. But it's like 
something in this lack of balance has really slowed you down. It's really made you question something. As I say, it feels like you've had a surprise, something that shocked you, you know, maybe in a spiritual path, you know, you were kind of learning something and then you realize that, you know, somebody who was teaching you turned out to be corrupt. I mean, it could be anything, but there's a shock by the looks of things or a, or you've kind of lost the navigation, but, but remembering the material side will help and then reconnecting to your heart. So let's see what Metatron has to say. So we're just going to draw three cards for how this connects to the song of your soul, that most pure essence of you. And then if you haven't already done it, go and see Jenny's reading after this and, and it'll give you a lot more information about that. What is purely you? This is, this is more how it's playing out at the moment in the material world. So what would Metatron say? Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, so the reason you're doing this, like you're not wrong. This is what Metatron would say firstly. You're not wrong. You are about philosophy. You're about the truth. This feels like the Ten of Swords. It feels in this energy like you come with a sword, a sword to, to you know, of the righteous. It's that kind of energy because there is a heart center to it and it's, you know, an ascended thing. You're not wrong about that. And your communication skills, the way you communicate is very, very key. But but you're also meant to to have passion for what you do. It just as I say, you feel like like either you feel like someone who is very like a mystic and very disconnected from the material world and their heart is directed towards the divine rather than other people. And that not, not to say you aren't loving to other people, but just in general you're kind of focused that way. So that's one thing, and it can be very ascetic, that sort of energy. Uh so that's sort of an issue. Or or you could be so, someone who is dealing with kind of truth-telling and that kind of thing all the time. And as a result, um, you kind of detach from – it's like you're almost detached to have objectivity in a way. But but you're also – there's passion. You should have passion for what you're doing as well. And the passion, I think, somehow connects back to the pentacles. But all the way through this, no pentacles. So there's something about that. There's something about the material world. So that's interesting. So what we're going to do – so we're now going to look at how it plays out in different things. And the first one is really a, the realm of pentacles. It's around your work, your vocation, your career. So I have a spiritual deck that kind of connects to that. And I thought that would be the best deck to, to channel an archangel's energy. So we're asking Sandalfon for what's going on on that very material career, vocation, monetary sort of level for you at the moment. The matrix, revealing the truth. Okay, all right. And... Protection. Okay. All right. All right. So maybe this whole pinnacle thing is because you are in environments or you've seen through, you've seen through the matrix <laughs> and you wouldn't be wrong. Paul, three. Um, but having said that, it still doesn't mean that you can't have a comfortable life. But I think there's, there's, I think there's a kind of a rejection of that which is false in you, revealing the truth, sacred work, you know, it's sacred work. If you do it, it has to be sacred. It's not about the money. You know, being a cat catalyst, a muse for others, and protection, saving your money, being a guardian, investing, like making sure you can protect yourself. I think this is what Sandalfon is saying, is that, yes, you are here somehow with the sort of truth or whatever that is. Like It's about ascension. It's about you are you are developed on that level, definitely, and you you come from the heart, and you're in this in this world and the matrix of the, the material world, and you see it for what it is. But you are allowed to be okay. You don't have to be poor or not focused on that. You need to protect your own assets and yourself because, you know, you've got a bigger purpose. So it's becoming clearer now. It's sort of like you're very, very focused on, on the truth and what is, what is happening in the world. So, okay. So let's also see what is happening around love for you. Commitment. Okay. So some of you, if you have gone through some emotional loss, I think this is a sign that something is coming in. But it would also be probably like, what is commitment to you? Like you would, I think you would only commit to someone who had a similar understanding of the world and a similar sort of set of ethics. And self-worth reverse. Okay, you're something, maybe for some of you, you thought you were going to commit to someone and it didn't work and you're moving away from it. So you need to look at your self-worth around that. Um, it may also be that again, materially, it's almost like it's almost like you've kind of like thought, you know, is is the material world real? Is love real? But you I mean like your heart is there, but maybe something made you wonder. And so that 
Santa Claus just wants you to look after you because you're not doing that, Pole 3. You're looking after the truth and everybody else. Like it's you, you can look after you too and, and, and actually have have the sort of like emotional connections that would be good for you. Let's see what spiritually is operating for you. Release your inner rebel. Be yourself and create your own universe. Yeah, like you are you. You are you at your core. Believe in that and have the self-worth. It might be particularly playing out in, in finding someone else like you for love. You don't just have to have divine love. You could actually have material love as well. And you're experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction. Be open to new experiences. So it also, as I say, some of this might be very time specific. You might have had a, you know, a kind of a, a an ascension sort of level. Like you could have had a, you know, like a download or something that's really kind of focused you. So this would be saying that's fine. But this is like getting you more in touch with who you are, if that's the case. So let's get one card from the Black Moon Astrology deck too to see astrologically what kind of area in your life is this primarily playing out. Neptune, sacrifice. Wow, okay. You're very spiritually developed. Like this group is very, very spiritually developed. Very, you know, we have a lot of spiritual gifts and we are actually going to look at spiritual gifts next. But yeah, very much the case. But there's something... Sandalfon wants you to look after you too. I think Sandalfon is saying, you know, like you, you're a member of the band, Pile 3. That means you actually get to look after yourself as well. I mean, we all should look after ourselves, but you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're you're kind of, you're on a mission. You, you are looking at ascension, but you don't have to sacrifice everything for it. I think that's the message Sandalfon wants. You, get, you to get very clearly so let's see how you can use your spiritual gifts so that you that you can also protect yourself in all of this life path five the free spirit ruling planet mercury your communication skills are going to be very important here you are a free spirit so this is the other thing i think maybe you feel material things sort of like bog you down but there's there's love for you to have there's 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 material stuff that gives you the the freedom in a different way it's, it's like you just you're not here to to abdicate everything material you're here to bring the sort of beauty of your spirit and your heart to have a good experience here and to then share that good experience with others potentially okay then we have Ascension path, yeah, ascension, it's all about ascension for you. Ascension path four, warm ether, senses being realigned. Yeah, so there's a sort of a, there's some, this again, the senses, there's a scent, there are the senses that are about the material. This is the bit, just need to bring that into balance. And like it's, you can't, it's like you can't sort of go all the way up to the ascension path without all the senses, if that makes sense. It's a lot of uses of the word sense in one, sen in one sentence. And... Another ascension path, surprise, surprise for you. Ascension path seven, astral plane, pineal gland is fully open. Yeah, you're very psychic, very psychic. And you're getting lots of downloads, so that's probably part of this. And you are on that, but you, there is something. It's coming up over and over. So it's just something to consider. It's not meant, Sandalphon's not having a go at you. Sandalphon just wants you to enjoy life and, and have some of the rewards as well as, as what you're bringing. You know, it's like you don't have to be an ascetic you know, to be spiritual and to, to ascend. So last but not least, maybe to kind of bring a bit of fun to things, I thought I'd use some music oracles. So this is music icons over the years. So I'm asking Sandalfon what music oracle or my music icon might best connect with your music of your life at the moment and what their advice is. Now, sometimes this deck is just humorous. So if it's humorous, just have a bit of a laugh. If it's profound, take whatever resonates for you. So Sandalfon, what would be the music icon and their advice for Pile 3? Miles Davis. So, you know, one of the pure originals again. Very pure, actually. There's something very pure about you. That's the thing. So, Miles Davis says, play like you don't know how. Yeah. Like, maybe that is a little bit of a hint because you're very much in the kind of the theory and the philosophy. Sometimes to find your way again, you almost have to kind of throw out all the rule books and all the ideas and just and just kind of extemporize, just, just kind of like play and see what happens. He says, progress is impossible without shock. Yeah, there's been a shock. Something shocked you. So, but this is a good thing. And he says the keynotes are those left unplayed. Okay, and the keynotes is what isn't being played here. It's your own material outcome. 
look after you too, Pal 3. <laughs> like I think, you know, you, you, you come with the very best of intentions and you're very, very spiritually connected and you're very, very aware of the world and you're not wrong, <laughs> but you're not looking after yourself as much as you could and I think that's what Sandalphon wants you to do. So because you're meant to be a member of the band, as I say, right up there, your ascension is, is connected to this. So I hope that that resonates for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I do do very much uh, suggest if you haven't already seen Jenny at Falling Water Tarot's um, messages from Metatron about the purity of your soul, your soul song, that you do that because I think this will nicely balance. Your soul would be very, very interesting, I have to say. Um, but beyond that, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If so, please like the video and subscribe. If you care to share in the comments, I'd love to hear. Otherwise, I hope to see you in future readings.